Hi ladies, so today I want to share a little project that I have been making um, for this month. Actually a couple of projects. Um, so this one here is, um, I made a couple of flowers out of these um, cupcake liners that I got at Michael's. I thought, you know, the print was really cool with the stripes, like the black and the yellow one here. And then I got um, this one here with flowers. So I thought that they, they would make really nice, um, cool flowers. So here are the flowers that I made. And I just um, saw, uh, you know, like a couple of tutorials out there. So, yeah, this is what I made. And this one, um, this cupcake, this size cupcake will make give you like a big flower. But I don't really want it to um, have them so big, so I trimmed them. And if, on this one, I put a little paper flower. This one here, again, I trimmed it. And I actually trimmed this part here more than this part here. So you can trim them however you want and make them look however you want. And then I put a little button here. And, a, and on top, I put a rhinestone. Here, there's this little yellow one. And this one actually came from some small little cupcake liners that I got at my local dollar store. And again, a little button and a little rhinestone um, pearl bead there. Oh, sorry. The yellow one here. And they all have three layers of, of the cupcake liners. So that's why they look very fluffy. You know, the more layers, the more fluffy you get your flowers. And again, a little button there. This one here. And again, another little yellow one. Uh, Sebastian, can you get me my flower? It fell off somewhere over there. And I got this little pink one here. Really cute. And again, a little button and a little pearl bead. This one. And this one I combined the uh, cupcakes liner. So that way it has like different colors and design. And I love how this one came out. I, you know, really nice. And last one, this one here. So, you know, and they're all, they're small, but they're still like different sizes. So you cut them however size, you know, any size that you want. Um, but I think, oh my God, they look so, so cute. And then you can put any kind of centers that you want. And these will look really cute on projects and cards. Really cute. So that was one of my projects, and I really like how these came out. Then another project that I was um, looking on YouTube, um, and there's actually a, a swap right now going on, and I don't remember who's hosting it. I'm so sorry for that, but it's a ticket swap. So I've never made tickets, and I don't have the Tim Holtz tickets die. So I, you know, saw a tutorial to make my own ticket and. I just wanted to play around so I'm not going to join that swap because like I said I just wanted to see how the things you know how it was gonna come out because I've never made this so but here's one of the tickets that I made and I mean I think it did come out really cute overall um, I just did it in a regular blue cardstock so it's kinda a little bit thin I don't know um, I know that they use thicker paper. I guess you could use one, any kind of paper that you want. But um, if you want to color on the paper, I think it's better to use like acrylic paper, I think I heard, or like um, watercolor paper. These images I actually didn't stamp directly on this um, paper here. I stamped it on another paper and then I fussy cut them. Um, and I put it there and then I put glossy accents and glitter. This one here, I um, you know, put a little, you know, popped out there and it says love you. And, you know, just playing around, like I said. And I think they did, came out like really cute though. Um, but, you know, just to play. And then this one here is another one. Again, using my stamps, and you can make so many things. I like decorate them so like nice. I mean, you could put 
flowers, you could put embellishments or stamp on them. I chose to stamp on them. And this one has some glossy accents and glitter. And this one, I actually stamped this tree directly to this paper. And since it's very thin, it did, you know, like went through here. So I don't, it didn't like that. And I think I have to like do another one of these and put it in on the back so it covers that but you know like I said that's why I didn't want to join the swap because I don't want to disappoint anyone on my tickets so I have to you know practice <laughs> but overall I did like um, the little you know like design that I made and you know just playing around so that's that and then <sighs> Another little project that I made was um, I had all these um, jars that I was saving from like, you know, mayonnaise jars or like jelly jars and stuff like that. So I wanted to um, embellish them and then, you know, put my buttons in there. So this is what I did for this one. And I just put some, you know, pretty nice lace trim. And then this one here around. Um, I don't know. It looks like a little skirt or something <laughs> and then um this um nice pearl trim and i colored the lid here and i put stickles and then i did i did these um flowers here this has like this like mesh this was like a mesh um fabric and i cut it in pieces to make this flower and then this was some pieces from an old curtain that my mom had and she was going to throw the curtain out, but then, you know, she remembered that I liked stuff like this. So she cut it out and she sent me a, a bunch of these. And then some pearl trim here around and a couple of little beads and pearls on top. And then this one is holding a couple of buttons. Very pretty. And I made um, this one here. This big one. And this one was a, like a jelly, a jelly jar. And this one was a mayonnaise jar. And again, I made them kind of like the same because I wanted to make them kind of like a little set. Um, so this one has this trim here and then this really pretty trim here. More trim and pearl trim here and another flower. And this one is a little bit different. It has this trim and again, like the curtain one trim that my mom sent me and, a little, and more pearl beads on top. Very pretty. And have my gold buttons in there and then this one here just like this this trim around and a little paper flower here and a button flower a little like lace trim here and pearl beads and more of the flowers and pearls and then a little button there so that's like that set looks like really cute and then the last one is this one and this one uh, I made it out of like those jars from the Starbucks you know like those coffees um, so I saved those two and I put up some purple lace and this really nice purple trim and a butterfly little um, flower here out of, made out of ribbon and then here again more lace and pearl trim I put some ribbon around this lid here and then I did like this little cluster of flowers with the pearls really cute and yeah and then I, I put all of my little like ribbon flowers there so yeah I was playing around just to see what I could do with these jars and that's what I did so yeah this is my my little projects that I've been making for this month you know just for me just to play around so I hope that you girls get inspired and play with your things and try new things and I hope that you liked it so thank you again for watching and take care bye